Hey. Hey. Am I interrupting something important? Impossible. I work for the government. I just picked up the girls. Thought we'd stop by. Oh, are the girls? <laughs> yes, they are. Hello, girls. <laughs> Diane and I have been seeing a lot of each other recently. She is a sharp, confident, strong woman. Her children are loud. This is fun. Easy, girls. We'll be careful, Miss Lewis. Ah. I'm sorry. I got it. We just wanted to invite you to come trick-or-treating tonight. I think I'm a little old. Can we go wrong, please? Please. Well, you can come, sure. But we have to go buy seven or else good candy will be gone. Sounds perfect. <laughs> come on, girls. Ah! Ah, ah! What the hell just happened? Are you ready? Yes. No, babe. Are you ready? Yes. I got fired from running the Sweetums Foundation. Thanks to me. Sorry again. Hey, blessing in disguise. I took a job at this accounting firm. They've tried to hire me three times. I finally gave in. But I've had a week off in between jobs, and I've been cooking up something pretty big. The last time he was in between jobs, he got deep into claymation. So this should be different, hopefully. Presenting the Cones of Dunshire, a brand new gaming experience. Eight to 12 players, two wizards, a maverick, the Arbiter, two warriors, a corporal, and a ledgerman. Now the ledgerman just keeps score, and he wears this hat. Oh boy. Now the object is to accumulate cones, four cones wins, but in order to get a cone, you have to build a civilization. The other amazing thing is the challenge play? Actually, let me tell you more about the trivia cards, because you're going to need to know about Roblox first. No, never mind. The thing about the challenge play is that it's basically the game in reverse. Then you roll three dice to see how many dice you roll with. Oh, 16. Perfect. Lots of choices. Okay, each turn goes roll, buy, action. I mean, obviously, this would be much taller in the real game. But the corporal can veto. This should be green, too. How did this happen? Are the cones a metaphor? Well, yes and no. What, what, what is this called again? The Cones of Dunshire. Oh, my God. The Maverick should be able to trade lumber for agriculture credits. How have I not thought of this before? This is nothing, right? Um, when do you go back to work again? Tomorrow. It's fine. I'll just throw this in the garbage. Oh, Hey, boo-boo bear. What did you just call me? Boo-boo bear. It's one of several nicknames I made up for you. And you can choose which one you like best, because I want this to be a give and take. OK, we went out once and nothing happened. There is no this. We have cookie tush. Wow, just right out the gate. Winnie the Boo, Lady Presh Presh, Annberry Sauce, Annie Get Your Boo, Tommy's Girl, Annie Benin. Hey! All right, let's do this. What are you doing? Is this not one of those? Might have misread the vibe. Oh my God, dude. You have to be cooler about this. Look, I told Leslie because she's my best friend, but if anybody finds out about this and they start jabbering, it's gonna make it really hard to know if this is actually anything. So just keep it on the DL, okay? I feel like you're embarrassed by me. That is accurate. Can't at least change my Facebook status to in a relationship? Definitely not. It's complicated? <sighs> Whatever. Am I in a relationship? It's complicated. Ron, Jack Cooper from the controller's office. Got a, got a second? Uh, sure, what can I do you for? Frankly, this is a little awkward. We received this letter from a collection agency about an outstanding debt from the Pawnee Public Library. It appears you have an overdue book. Or do I? It's not the size of the boat embracing life with a micro penis. Tammy. My ex-wife Tammy likes to check in every so often and make sure I'm doing okay. And if I am, she tries to f everything up. Okay, I pre-dialed 911, so all you have to do is press send. You're worrying over nothing. If she binds her hands and you can't reach your phone, then just try to chew yourself free. <gasps> whale tail, whale tail. She's flashing a whale tail. Abort, abort, abort. Hello, Tammy. Oh, hello, Ron. I didn't see you come in. I was just checking myself for scoliosis. And? Straight as an arrow, just like somebody else I know. Jerky? Call off the dogs. You and I both know that in my entire adult life, I have never checked a book out of the library. 
Oh my God, she's amazing. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. I admit there was a time when that sort of behavior would have driven me wild. But I am in a healthy relationship now, Tammy. A relationship? With whom? A lovely, intelligent, self-possessed pediatric surgeon named Wendy. Sounds like a real whore. Clear the late charges and cut the crap. Good day. Good day, Leslie. Good. Good day. Mm, eyeballs, rats, bats, vampire teeth. Boom, vampire teeth. Good. Spider webs. Done. Mm -hmm. Fake blood capsules. Oh, they didn't have any. Really? That's gross, I love it. We are throwing a Halloween party at our house. It's gonna be the greatest thing ever. Someone will die. Of fun. And of murder. And there's gonna be beer, pumpkins. Bloody goblins. Fake ones. It's gonna be awesome. We have decorations. Dead people that we just murdered. Not murdered, but pictures of dead people from TV or movies. Mutilated bodies. But fake ones. Candy, dancing, tequila, all kinds of food and snacks. Blood orphans. No blood orphans. I... I don't know what that is. Rent to Swag shareholders, as you can see, your store is hopping. These kids are renting my old clothes like they're going out of style, which they never will. Yeah, that's a lot of foot traffic, Tommy. I like it. Oh, Diam, it is kind of a sausage party in here. For the record, would hit it, would hit, would hit, hard pass. <laughs> Tom, who is this person? This is Mona Lisa Saperstein, my new sales associate. Mona Lisa Saperstein? Does that mean... Oh, yeah! She's my sister, my twin sister from the same mister. Thank you so much for hiring Mona Lisa. It means so much to me, even though, honestly, she is the worst. She is the worst person in the world. Huge, skank, terrible, but thank you. It means a lot. Of course, gotta keep it in the family. Yeah, but does it have to be this family? Actually, that reminds me, b -b -b boss man. I need to leave early today because my shrink got me and him tickets to a Pitbull concert. And I already committed to that. And so if you say that I can't go, it's like you're taking something away from me. Um, store's really busy. I kinda mm -hmm. need you to stay. I totally hear you. Um, I also don't like what you're saying. So if you say no, I will start a fire in the bathroom. Okay, I guess you can go. Yeah, I know I can. <laughs> what did I tell you, huh? The worst! She's the worst in the world. John Ralphio, how are you? I'm gonna get 12 eggs and part of a dead animal. Dealer's choice, please and thank you. What can I get you, Anne? I will have oatmeal and berries, and I will have catfish and grits with pumpernickel toast. Explain. Well, instead of getting swept up in my boyfriend's personalities, I'm dating myself and trying new things. So every time I go out to eat, I order one thing that's typical me and then something that I would never order. Now I have two best friends, Anne and Anne, each one more beautiful than the other. Oh, I also have been documenting all the new things I'm trying on my blog. Check this out, I went skydiving. Which Anne is screaming like a maniac, oatmeal Anne or catfish Anne? I'm not sure because I instantly blacked out from extreme terror. Okay, time for gifts. We have gift certificates for facials for everybody. Then you are going to get a needlepoint pillow with your face on it and the lead headline from a newspaper on the day you were born. Joseph Stalin dies. That's right, Mom, and you replaced him. Not in terms of genocide, just in terms of, you know, being on Earth. February 14th, Valentine's Day, is about romance. <laughs> But February 13th, Galentine's Day, is about celebrating lady friends. It's wonderful, and it should be a national holiday. It should be a national holiday. Dear Congress, it's Leslie again. Hey, April, um, I'll be gone for the next 19 and a half hours, so can you water my plants in my office? We are all out of water, actually. I'll have to use boiling hot milk. Are you really going to do that? Yes. Well, everybody, um, wow, uh, it has been an honor and a pleasure to work with you all. The time I have spent at Parks and Rec have been the happiest days of my life here in the government. And I know everyone says it, but I sincerely hope that you know, we stay in touch. What the f is happening right now? <laughs> Today is my last day. Leslie, I'm retiring. What? Why didn't you tell us? Well, I don't want to make a big fuss, although... Gosh, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it a few times. Oh, God, they're gonna fire people, aren't they? Yeah, I am two years from my pension. Can you believe it? Only six months left until I retire. 
Ooh. What? What did Jerry say? Jerry was here? Well, this is my last weep. Oops. I mean, weep. Weak. Ouch. <laughs> Jeez. Wait, 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 wait. J just wait. Everybody wait. Okay. As much as we want this to happen, we can't let Jerry just disappear. We have to commemorate this somehow. You're right. Jerry, thank you for your service. Goodbye. Thanks, Ryan. That speech means a lot. Okay, well, I am going to go and say goodbye to some other folks. Okay, see you tomorrow, Jerry. April! Listen, I was trying to buy this handcrafted mahogany wood model of a B-25 Mitchell Panchito aircraft. Aw, for me? Don't sass me. And I went to this website and this ad popped up that said, Hey, Ron Swanson, check out this great offer. What's your question? My question is, what the hell? Like, how do they know who you are? Yeah. Okay, um, there are these things called cookies where like if you go to a site and buy something, it'll remember you and then create ads for other stuff you might want to buy. So it learns information about me? Seems like an invasion of privacy. Dude, if you think that's bad, go to Google Earth and type in your address. 